Welcome to this tutorial series about Segur Embedded Studio and how to use it with Nordic Semiconductors Software Development Kit. The SDK version 14.1 is the first SDK with official support for Segur Embedded Studio. To follow these tutorials you will need Segur Embedded Studio and the SDK installed on your computer. Segur Embedded Studio can be downloaded from segur.com. Go to Downloads and choose Embedded Studio. For more information about downloading and installing Segur Embedded Studio, follow the link in the description and watch Segur Microcontroller's YouTube video Embedded Studio Download and First Run. The SDK can be downloaded from Nordic Semiconductor's own website. Here we go to Products, choose Bluetooth Low Energy, go down and find the NRF5 SDK, go to the Downloads tab, and here we can download the latest version of the SDK. Once downloaded, extract the files to your SDK folder. Your SDK folder should be placed as close to the base folder of your hard drive as possible. This is to avoid the path length getting too long, as this will cause some of the examples not to compile. You should also avoid any white spaces, as this could also cause problems with the path definitions. For example, I have created a folder called Nordic underscore semi in the C drive. Inside this folder, I can have several versions of the SDK installed. Now that we have both Segur Embedded Studio and the SDK installed on our computer, we are ready to open our first project. Open your SDK folder, go to Examples, choose BLE Peripheral, and choose the BLE App HRS. This is the heart rate example. Here we get several options. There's a hex folder containing pre-compiled hex files that can be flashed directly to your development kit. If you are using the NRF52840 preview development kit, then you should choose the PCA10056 as this is the hardware ID for the NRF52840 preview development kit. We will be using the NRF52 development kit, so we will be choosing the hardware ID PCA10040. Here we get several options, and now we should choose the folder referring to the soft device that we will be using. We will be using the soft device S132, so we choose that folder. As we are using Segur Embedded Studio, we choose the CES folder. Here we can find our project file. And if we open this, Segur Embedded Studio should launch. Here we can see the initial view of Segur Embedded Studio. To the left, we have our project explorer containing all the files included in our project. Under Application, we can find our main C file and our SDK config file. Now we are ready to build and flash the example to our development kit. Make sure that the development kit is connected via USB. Go to Build and hit Build and Run. If you haven't already added a Segur Embedded Studio license, you will get prompted to do so now. 
you can use Segre Embedded Studio for both non-commercial and commercial purposes with Nordic semiconductors and RF devices free of charge. There's no time limitation to the license. There's no code size limitation or any other limitations to the license. To register and activate your free license, press the Get a Free License button below. When selecting Get a Free License, you will get forwarded to this window. To get the license, you will need to add your first name, your last name, and the company name. You will also need to add a valid email address as the activation key will be sent to this address. The email address used in this video is only made for testing purposes and should not be used to contact Nordic Semiconductor. The last thing that needs to be provided is the MAC address. Segre Embedded Studio should collect and insert this address for you. Now that all the information is provided, select Request License and the activation key will be sent to the email address that you provided. If you haven't received the activation key after 15 minutes, please request it again. When you receive the activation key, press Enter Activation Key. Insert the key that you received by email and select Install License. Your free license is now installed and your project should continue to build and be flashed to your development kit. Once it's finished, you should, you should see the development kit starting to advertise. If you have any trouble with adding the license, there is another video showing you how to request the license in your browser and add the activation key in Segre Embedded Studio. Thanks for watching.